Hello, this is Sandra Hart again. Thank you for joining me at Life Over 60. Who said that you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, it's just not true. And I'll tell you why. When the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me You know, I get my inspiration for videos in the craziest places. Just when I think of, you know, I've run out of ideas of what to talk about, something hits me. Well, today when I opened up my mail, I'm on, because I love Chanel, I'm on their mailing list, and I got an email from them with the headline, 1957. Well. Wow. My heart stopped. I love you, Chanel. I love the year 1957 because that's the year I graduated from high school and went to college and got out of my hometown that I wanted to get out of since I was little. <laughs> so 1957 was a year of emancipation for me, but I guess it was also a year that Coco was doing a lot of stuff while little old me was just packing my bags to go to college. She was getting awards and a lot of good things were happening to her. So Chanel has come out with a new fragrance. It's called 1957. And the only place that you can get it is in New York City. Uh, I think starting next week uh, for a while. So I was so disappointed because I thought, oh, 1957, that means something to me too, Coco, whatever. So anyway, it started me thinking about how much I love aromas and fragrances. You know, I don't know when I first started to love fragrances, but I am absolutely addicted to smells. Really, if I smell chocolate cake or cinnamon buns, I remember when I used to walk through Macy's and in their basement when cinnamon buns became really big, they used to make them in the basement, in Macy's basement on 34th Street in New York. And sometimes I'd walk through the store downstairs just looking at the house, the home goods, and I could smell those cinnamon buns and I never could resist buying one and eating it because of the smell. I just love smells. Or when I used to go to the mall and you'd smell hot pretzels being made. There's something about aromas and smells that I have always loved. But I'm also kind of a very, um, once I find something that I like, I stick with it forever. Maybe not husbands, but <laughs> if I find something I like, I stick with it forever. When I first discovered Chanel as a young girl, Chanel number no. five, I loved it from the very beginning, and I have used it practically all of my adult life. I love Chanel number no. five. I have Coco and Gabrielle, and I've tried some of the others, but I really am so, so loyal to Chanel number five. I mean, I have um, other perfumes. Uh, I've had Oscar de la Renta on Nice on Nice. I'm trying to think of, but I'd take samples and I'd use them, but then I'd always wind up coming back to Chanel. I even have just a little bit of this, and I've had this, I think, for a long time, Paris Yves Saint Laurent. It's a very nice fragrance, but I don't know why. I'm just Chanel, but I think lately, um, Something is happening to my brain because I'm changing. And I am starting to experiment in a lot of different ways that I never did before. For instance, you know, I'm very uh, anti-heavy makeup and I usually don't wear foundation. But now, I mean, these women in the beauty channel 
I mean, it's like they're a cult and they're converting me. And so now once in a while, I'm using foundation. I found one my daughter sent to me from Avon and, and I'm, you know, I don't seem to be, I seem to be promoting Avon, but it's just that it's very light. It covers very well. And I don't feel like I have, you know, anything on my face. And that's the, that's the feeling I like. I like the natural free look. So I'm changing that way. I'm doing my eyes more often. You know, I used to run out with this bare face with oil. And it. so now I find myself once in a while, just like getting dolled up to go to Publix. I can't believe it. And it's all because of these wonderful women in the beauty channel. I don't think I'm going to go too far. I think I probably have maxed out the line as far as I'll go. But it's something else that I, is happening to me. I don't know whether it's my brain is misfiring because I am, you know, 80 or what it is. But my daughter has been sending me perfumes from Avon. And I thought, okay, all right, I'll spray the bathroom. I'll spray, you know, my pillows or whatever. But you know what? These fragrances are really, really nice. Now, the longevity, how, they, how long they stay on my body, maybe not quite as long as the Chanel that I'm paying hundreds of dollars for. But for $20 or $30, you cannot beat some of these Avon perfumes. You really, really can't. This one was the first one she sent me. It's called Velvet. And it is um, a combination of figs, rose, and patchouli. And I'll let you smell it. I wish you could. I wish we had smell-o-vision. But this is really a lovely, lovely smell. It comes in this pretty bottle, you know, with the velvet on top. But I have been using this not only on myself, but I've been spraying the bathroom towels with it and my pillows with it at night. But it's really, really very nice. And it also has all of these products. <coughs> Excuse me. All of the, I'm getting so excited. All of these products come with cream and uh, uh, like shower gel or shower lotion or whatever. But anyway, she sent me this. So my daughter's really getting me in trouble. She's changing my whole MO. And this next one that she sent me, it's called Rare Gold. And do you remember Oscar de la Renta? And I, I don't know whether the fragrance was called Oscar de la Renta, but it was in the beautiful bottle with the little birds on top. Well, this smells almost exactly like that, or anise anise. It has the same aroma, and it's called Rare Gold, and it is a, a combination of orange blossoms and bergamot, or bergamot, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. You can pronounce it two different ways. But anyway... That is the second one. And then she sent me the catalog. And, you know, my brain was firing and getting all excited when I saw this bottle. Because it reminded me so much of Christmas. And this is called Haiku. Uh, and it is uh, jasmine and a uh, little bit of citrus. But it's really, a, I, I love jasmine. Oh, it's really, oh, really, really nice. I love jasmine. But anyway, so now I have all of these perfumes and that I'm going to be just using and I am expanding in my old age. I'm getting out of that. If I like it, I'm going to do it forever <laughs> mode. I don't know what's happening to me, but something is, I guess. But anyway... So that is my, oh, and one thing, another thing I did, I ordered, they, Avon has a tin, and I don't mean, it's not, the please, this is not supposed to be an Avon commercial. It just, I happened to be, my daughter sent me all this stuff, and I was so excited, I was like a little kid opening my box last night when it came. But it is a tin that has 60 little mini lipsticks in it, and it's like an old-fashioned tin, and as you can see, it has Anne on the top, and it's like a mistletoe tin, they call it, because it's just tiny little kisses in there. So what I thought I would do is on my Instagram feed, I am going to 
for 60 days on Instagram, I am going to use each of these colors one at a time. Now, I'll either be portraying somebody in the Instagram or I'll just be outfit of the day on Instagram, but it's my goal to use every single one of these little tiny lipsticks to um, just switch it up a bit, I guess. But it really, you know, Avon, it was out of my mind for like 30 years. But but now, you know, I was, I'm amazed that they have such really, really, and you know, I love the uh, new uh, platinum cream, the Black Pearl, as everybody calls it. You know, I really like that, and it honestly has been helping my skin. So anyway, that's that's my video for today. I'm just, you know, my brain is um, changing. So I guess it's okay once in a while to experiment and to switch it up a little bit. But I'm not the person that I used to be. Very loyal to my Chanel. Very loyal to my Chanel Lay Lift. Very loyal to my B21 serum and very loyal to my Chanel perfumes. I still love them, but I'm willing to switch it up a bit and experiment. It's like I'm going backwards in time. <laughs> okay, that's it. I, I thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to go over and look at my Instagram feed, it's uh, Sandra's Heart, S-A-N-D-R-A-S-H-A-R-T. And every day I'm going to be posting a selfie or a picture wearing a different color from these little miniature Avon lipsticks. Be good to yourself today. And of course, if someone crosses your path, please be kind to them and share the love. And you know I always say that because I need it, you need it, we all need it. Thank you for joining me, and if you like this video and want to subscribe, I'd love to have you along on this wild and crazy journey that I am on here on YouTube. Love you bunches, everybody. Take care, and have a great, great day.